all right guys so here you can see this is a bank nifty and the four hour chart price just opened a gap up and again price dropped down right today so we have seen bank nifty just uh, broke this 200 moving average and again drop down toward this uh, moving average which is act, uh, as average a supporting line and again they create a higher high and uh, today in this video i'll discuss about uh, bank nifty what is the exactly entry point and which direction right and before i analyze uh, this is the van google technical analyst of allies blue if you are a new viewer please subscribe our uh, youtube channel and uh, ring the bell icon that means every day i'm analyzing live market and once you once you're done uh, let's get started here you can see now uh, let me show you one uh, another trading strategy like uh, another projects on how to analyze uh, for the long term right one by one i'll i'll explain so let me show you this is a large time frame like monthly in a large time frame uh, always remember in this always goes up right and they are giving some retracement in a short term period but ultimately in the long term always goes up right remember now you can see here we have seen by uh, using this monthly candlestick pattern right now they are following moving average 20 have you seen price is bouncing from moving average 20 so here here we have seen a strong support which is uh, following in our previous market behavior right so that means price was bouncing from there right that area and uh, similarly when price approach to the moving average 20 they are forming an engulfing pattern or some most important candlestick pattern right in a key point so here first time we have seen this is the bullish engulfing pattern and then next we can say like that the morning star pattern and then now similarly they are creating a bullish engulfing pattern right in a monthly so it is indicating that it will go up right so it is for the long term it will take a month three year something like that right so similarly you can see here in the weekly time frame uh, price first you can see they are bouncing from moving average 50 after that you can see this is a hundred exponential moving average because i'm i'm using all our exponential moving average right so now we have seen this is another uh, bounce back from moving average uh, exponential moving average which is 100 now according to the price action method we have seen this is a long bearish rally they broke the previous lower point and they create a lower uh, low here right that was lower high they broke this lower high and they create a lower low so after that right just push up fail to break this previous higher point right and price again drop down right again when price drop from this level they are not able to create new lower low because here was lower low and they create new lower high right this is lower high so again price right now you can see price are pushing up right so in this situation sometimes it uh, it happen like that they are going to create a triangle shape like that right in this triangle shape that means they are not able to break this bit okay let me let me draw here and right now they are trying to create like that triangle shape right in a triangle shape they are not able to create lower low and a low, higher high and that means wave are decreasing like that right have you seen so that was a uh, previous higher point like that this higher high and the next they create a higher low and fail to break new higher high and again they fail to break new lower low again higher high always uh, uh, doing fail and not able to create a new higher high or low so in that case they are creating a triangle set. so this is called triangle set. so similarly we are uh, we have seen this type of pattern they are trying to form here right so if remember if price not able to break this level so they will again reverse back like that like that 
right and at that time it will be like a triangle pattern right like that so remember uh, still they are not confirming but how we will confirm that they are going to create a triangle pattern right so that is why we gonna draw a support and resistance line diagonal so I'm gonna connect this is the diagonal line by connecting previous swing higher high and higher low right this one so next you can draw here like that so it should look like that right and uh, let's jump to daily so daily it will look like that right they are running in the, in between these rings now if I break this higher uh, point uh, not exactly higher point this is called a resistance line uh, which is following by diagonal trend line so once they break out if, oh sorry once they break this uh, trend line so we will confirm that they are not following this tri triangle shape right they are not going to follow this triangle shape they broke this area and price will continue toward this area so who people are uh, uh, trying to buy so you must close this position in this area right so let me draw some support and raise them line in that case now we have seen here uh, this is called resistant and let me draw another horizontal line by connecting previous higher or lower point so i'm gonna connect this is higher and most tosses point so now we have seen most tosses point are there multiple rejection rejection and rejection are there so that is why i drawn as a resistant line in this area all right so let's check it in a four hour time frame how it will look like that in a four hour time frame it will look like that right they're creating new higher high and higher low here we have seen higher high higher low higher high higher low and higher high and the next they are trying to create a new higher low now question is that what is the next higher low might be right in that case i want to draw some support and raise the line again all right so let me zoom a little more here so we have seen multiple rejection somewhere where exactly multiple rejection we have seen here is a multiple rejection all right have we seen once twice third fourth fifth time they are rejecting even fifth fourth right and here we have seen they are acting as a support now we have seen this is a supporting line somewhere here around two nine six two five two nine six two five that is our supporting zone right in a four hour time frame we have seen price is creating higher high higher low higher high higher low and higher high now they are taking a rest right this is called a rest or you can say retracement right doing retracement and uh, this uh, this is supporting line we have seen right and who people uh, wanna take a position for the buy you can see this is called bounce back trading strategy uh, sorry uh, this is called breakup trading strategy so uh, who people already seen my uh, uh, what called trend line breakout trading strategy they comes to know right we need at least three multiple rejection so exactly we have seen some multiple rejection are there more than five rejection are there after that we are looking for a breakout candle we are not looking for this candle we are looking for open and close should be above this resistance line so we have seen this is open and close uh, uh, that candle should be above this resistance line so that is why we are not calculating this bullish candle why because this bullish candle open up below this resistance line right and close up above so we are not looking for and the next we have seen this candle got it now question is that can we buy here somewhere here above this uh, candlestick pattern no we cannot buy 
Why? Because this candle are too far from moving average. So when uh, that type of candle is too far from moving average, we never gonna take buy position because we are looking for uh, 20 moving average should be near that candle, right? And that, that is where we are looking for to retrace toward this moving average. So according to the previous market behavior, we have seen the price a bounce from moving average 20. Have you seen? It's a bounce. So similarly, we are looking for same bounce near this moving average, right? So once price retrace this level, so we will start buy, right? At the level of 29,625. So that was for our time frame. And uh, let me show you in a small time frame, like right. Let me draw another uh, most recent trend line. So we have seen that one. Now you can see this is a 15 minute time frame, right? So we have seen 15 minute time frame, it should look like that. And in a short time period, uh, period you have seen there was some breakout point right breakout so now i'm gonna draw another trend line here by connecting this uh, previous higher point now we have seen this is called zone have you seen just a minute so now we have seen this is called supporting zone right this is called supporting zone and we are exactly looking for buy some candlestick pattern above this zone right now we will use some uh, bounce back trading strategy right what call that is called bounce back trading strategy right so now we have seen some uh, like uh, resistant line where they are retesting we are looking for three time testing any trend line right we have seen first test second test and the third test so we're gonna draw a, a supporting line somewhere here let me draw here so we have seen this is a resistant line so we are looking for three time test right so we have seen these are three time tested already test the one test the two or three somewhere and the four and now we are looking for a breakout candle which candle means that means open and close should be above this 30,000 right this is the level of 30,000 open and close once they form this type of candle in a 15 minute uh, we will looking for buy above at least 20 to 30 point above this candle right because it is a uh, so according to our breakout trading strategy all criteria are fulfilling here so 20 moving average above 50 moving average 50 moving average above 150 moving average that is a good sign that means they are confirming us bullish signal and whatever you are going to use percentage are uh, what call uh, parabolic chart and uh, whatever you are using all are indicating as a bullish right so that is why we are going to use uh, uh, sorry we are going to take buy position and we will use at least 1.5 ATR SL right from this supporting line uh, it will be somewhere here and the target you can trade 1 is to 2 right that that will be our trading strategy so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching